Good morning to you all. Happy New Week. Happy New Week, everyone. Welcome to Absolute of Realities. Praise the Lord. Today is Monday, 8th of July, 2024. And the topic is, He is the mastermind of every good thing. Praise the Lord. So before we start this beautiful morning, let's thank God together. Father, King of glory, we thank you. We honor you. We appreciate you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for this beautiful week you have ushered us into. All the praise and glory belongs to you, O King of glory. Thank you, Father, for this gathering this morning. Thank you for making it possible. Thank you for your word we are about to receive this morning. With gladness of heart, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Monday 8, and the topic is, He is the mastermind of every good thing. And Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you an, an expected end. That's Jeremiah 29 verse 11. It is amazing how much God loves us. Think about the fact that He gave us everything. He gave us His kingdom, praise the Lord. He gave us His righteousness. He gave us His wisdom. He gave us His glory. He gave us His name and even gave us His life, praise the Lord. It shows how much He loves us. So when people are suffering and in pain it is not from God praise the Lord the Bible says in Psalm 3 verse 5 the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord his goodness that is all he wants every man hallelujah woman boy and gay on the face of the earth to experience every day Psalm 16 verse 11 says, In his presence is fullness of joy, and at his right hand a pleasure forevermore. That lets you know the Lord, the kind of God he is. He is not the mastermind behind your suffering. Praise the Lord. He is not the mastermind behind your sorrow. Perhaps you are reading this today, and life has been hard for you. Things haven't been going the way you want them to go. You are not living a fulfilled life. There can be a change even now. Embrace the loving Christ. Believe truly that he loves you and wants the best for you. He said in third John 2, 1 verse 2, Beloved, I wish above all things, Sorry, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospereth. Praise the Lord. What a blessed desire from more, from our loving Father and gracious Heavenly Father. He is the Father of light and of all good things. Praise the Lord. And He doesn't discriminate. James 1 17 Matthew 5 45 says for he make it sorry guys I'm trying the phone is just giving me trouble yeah yeah uh, Matthew 5 45 says for he make it his son to rise on the evil and on the good and Spend it rain on the just and on the unjust. He is that gracious and kind. Praise the Lord. Also think about what he says in Isaiah 119. If you will only let me help you, if you will only obey, then I will make you rich. Praise the Lord. Imagine the invitation. That means it is up to you to let him help you. Live in prosperity and super abundance. Praise the Lord. But how does he help you? It is through the word. The word is the truth and the light that guides you in the path of absolute victory and dominion in life. Praise the Lord. As you walk in the light of the word, you discover at the blessings that belongs to you. 
Hallelujah in Christ and enjoy the fullness of your inheritance in him. Hallelujah. Praise to Lord. What is Pastor communicating to us this morning? Pastor is helping us to understand that God de God desire for you to be rich, healthy. Hallelujah. That's God's plans. Praise to Lord. He did not create you for you to suffer. What did you do? Hallelujah. Praise to Lord. To the extent that he who died for you, he sent his son, Jesus, to die for you. Praise to Lord. That's how much he loves you. Hallelujah. Praise to Lord. So if you're not getting what you want in life, out of life is because you have not studied the word of God enough. Because if you study the word of God, you begin to demand things. Hallelujah. You begin to take charge of your environment, take charge of your life. Praise the Lord. And that is why Pastor is referring us to the Bible. Because the high Bible will help you to do so. Hallelujah. Understand God. Read the Bible. Know who you are. Get know your inheritance in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because ignorance is what many are suffering today. So with that being said, let's take the confessions together. The Lord is the mastermind of every good thing in my life. His thoughts towards me are of peace and not of evil, to give me a future and a hope. I bask in his unconditional love and experience his goodness every day for he has given me his kingdom righteousness wisdom and glory i walk in the light of his word that guides me in absolute victory and dominion in life hallelujah for the study you can look at psalm 3 verse 3 to 3 to verse 5 james 1 verse 17 and heart 10 verse 8 when your Bible read the plan, you can look at Act 19, verse 8 to 41, and Jude 15 to 18. To your Bible read the plan, you can look at Galatians 1, 18, verse 2 to 1, and Isaiah 28. So after leave your time, you can go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining in this morning. God bless you. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotion. And if you're here, you've not given